Elementary, My Dear Watson, Sherlock Holmes, The Awakened, reviewed by Daniel for Xbox Tavern. But first, check this out. Insert Coin is our favourite clothing brand. Head over to insertcoinclothing.com and use Xbox Tavern 23 for £5 off orders over £50. That's Xbox Tavern 23 for £5 off orders over £50. Check the T's and C's below. Published and developed by Frogwares, this is another Sherlock's Home title that they have developed. The Ukrainian developer has had issues with this title due to the invasion of Russia into Ukraine. They had to crowdsource some of their funding on a Kickstarter campaign. However, let's find out whether this helped the game or whether this was a detrimental effect on Sherlock Holmes The Awakened. Having not played any of the previous Sherlock Holmes games, I was quite excited to jump in and see what the English detective could do. When I first got into my character, I noticed that the walking was very jarring, blocky maybe. It wasn't as smooth as I would have liked it. However, this didn't put me off. I, um, I kind of got round it just by, as you keep on progressing, you know that it's going to be a bit blocky, a little bit uh, uneasy as you're walking around. However, I didn't let that put me off. As you can see, you are heavily reliant into going into your menu system, making sure that you are looking at your notepad as well as pinning clues. While you pin these clues, these allow you to go progress through the story, picking up more information so you can solve the case that you are on. Um, the case is broken down into potentially three or four possibly even more parts so you have what I can only describe as like an an eye and from that eye as you click in you have little threads and from those threads you need to connect your puzzle so you can solve that mystery once you solve that part of the mystery you then move over to the second part of this and you keep on progressing like that until the whole case is fully finished and done with. As you first jump into the game you're there in Baker Street trying to solve the first case or the, I don't want to say the first murder because there is no murder, but you're solving your first case and within that there is uh, an overarching story as well as a few collectibles for you to collect as you're progressing in true Sherlock Holmes fashion. Quite a few things are kind of going on at the same time and as you progress and deal with your case all of a sudden this kind of unfolds and kind of moves yourself forward you kind of go as if you were driving through a small road then you progress onto a bigger motorway then you go onto the a massive kind of motorway and you're always going forward within this destination I did find however the game for me was very as I've said, heavily reliant on this notepad going back and forth, back and forth, which really confused me on one of the puzzles right near the beginning. As I was in, as I was in this garden, as you can see coming up now, um, you had to envision what happened so you could solve this case. But because I had to keep going back forth, pinning items, this really did confuse me, and I found it very difficult to solve this case without jumping onto a YouTube guide and helping me out. I know, hands up, bad, bad gamer. Head over to xboxtavern.com, check out my final scores as well as my conclusion. Let me know in the comments below if you are gonna be picking up Sherlock Holmes or if you've played any of the Sherlock Holmes games. Until next time, make sure you like, follow and subscribe. Take care, bye bye.